Hello my YouTube friends, Greg here from Brisbane with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about fructose and glucose. Look, this video one of many that I will create as part of series. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. And the reason is that I would like to create second opinion to help people that struggle with what they cannot get from doctor or they believe the doctor is not helping them. So let's start with glucose. What's wrong with glucose in the first place? The first problem is body requires a very small amount of glucose to sustain energy. Rest of the energy, ideally energy would come from ketone bodies, but in a nutshell, body doesn't need glucose to actually survive. The glucose historically was uh, designed to give us that um, burst of energy when we need to run away from animal not to be eaten or we had another danger very short period of time not long sustained energy so as i mentioned before we don't require a high amount of glucose in our in our body to fuel it but sadly most of our food around us contains sim simple carbs that will turn to glucose or it will actually contain glucose or sucrose or any form of that what problem with that is we're giving our body something so empty that body cannot deal with it properly so what happened when uh, glucose enters the body when glucose enters the body there are a number of cells that requires energy so the glucose enters the body and goes straight to bloodstream in a bloodstream it will circulate and will attend to every single cell that asks for for glucose very quickly all cells will be full there will be still plenty of glucose in the body or in the bloodstream and body say all right uh, we don't need any more glucose because we're really in a small amount and we need to do something with it. That something is basically called storage. To store that energy, we got hormone that was uh, that is produced in the pancreas called insulin. Yeah. So insulin enters the body or enters the bloodstream, take glucose, convert it to human fat deposits, and put it elsewhere. Well, it's all good. But at some stage, we have more glucose in the bloodstream than insulin. What that even means? It's called the phenomenon called uh, insulin resistance. It's basically when cells not accepting any glucose, and there's not enough insulin to bring the blood sugar down. In a simple terms, we call it pre-type two diabetes. This is where a doctor would suggest you to start measuring your sugar levels and probably injecting some insulin. Well, if that continues, you or, or person that, that in that situation will enter full-blown type 2 diabetes. The problem with that is a vicious cycle. The more insulin you inject, the more fat deposits person will get and the more insulin resistant they will get. So injecting insulin doesn't help. It actually make people bigger, make people more insulin resistant, and they require more of that stuff uh, uh, to, to, to live their lives. Eventually it will uh, end up in fatality. It's a pretty big situation. There are solutions that discuss uh, in different videos, but that's the situation with glucose. Let's talk about um, high fructose fructose corn syrup or we call it fructose in, in, um, in short basically fructose it's 50% glucose 50% fructose I think the fraction is uh, slightly different 42 to 58% but it doesn't matter for, for purpose of this video let's make it 50 50 so when you consume uh, fructose and fructose uh, entering bloodstream Basically, uh, if it's pure fructose, it does not spike insulin. Fructose has different pathways to be absorbed. And you'll say, hooray, it's, it's a good idea. So I should consume fructose. It's actually a pretty bad idea. 
there's a only one organ that can deal with uh, with fructose is liver and liver uh, will be overloaded because the fructose it's actually a toxin so I don't want to go into complex uh, biochemistry what liver will do with fructose but end result of breaking up uh, fructose will be um, fat deposit around the liver and usually we associate those fat deposits with um, alcohol and uh, alcoholics prone to that phenomenon actually not 20, end of 20th and beginning of 21st century uh, more and more people have fatty liver disease and it's terrible disease and what's really um, problematic with that is we've got that stigma that if you are larger of larger size you're unhealthy but if you're skinny you're healthy well i hate to break it for you but skinny people most of the skinny people that live unhealthy lives would have fat, fatty liver disease and fatty liver is actually a fatal condition it's really hard to diagnose fatty liver disease until it's almost to the point when um, liver gives up and when liver gives up there's nothing to substitute its function and the person dies it's a, it's a serious matter so when people consume fructose I believe they need to know what's happening into their body to have it a little bit um, to put in different perspective uh, what's worse it's glucose usually 50% glucose 50% fructose so not only when you consume those cheap sweet things um, not only you clog your liver you also become insulin resistant so uh, it's the two things that work in so badly to bring immune system down currently when virus is around it's probably the biggest uh, concern immune system but the biggest threat to entire body ecosystem and immune system and autoimmune conditions is actually uh, our diet which is full of glucose and fructose our continuous series of uh, trust me i'm not a doctor um, but for now i would like to make sure that when i mention glucose fructose insulin resistant and fatty liver people do understand what i'm talking about if you like this video or other videos please subscribe to my channel like it comment below and i'm trying to make sure that i'll as clear as possible explain what it's all about so i'm not a doctor but my mission to interpret latest research latest understanding of human body to something that doctors wouldn't tell you thank you so much for watching greg from brisbane until next time